today is President's Day, and one city is celebrating in a tall way. Okay. That story kicking off today's trending stories. Here's a look at our hot topics brought to you by Walton Art Center. Now, what better way to highlight today than with a gigantic digital display on the side of one of Miami's downtown skyscrapers? You may, may remember yes. this may be the same building that we talked about for Valentine's Day that also had a Valentine's Day display right. on it. So this is dubbed the world's tallest Happy President's Day greeting. The LED light display shows the U.S. flag with portraits of America's first president, George Washington, and the nation's 16th president, Abraham Lincoln. The 60-story Paramount Miami World uh, Center Tower also glows with an enormous seal of the President of the United States. So very, very cool. That is cool. Very tall. I do wonder, I, I think that was the same one we did for Valentine's Day. We had the I big so lips too. on the yeah. side. Yeah, <laughs> and Cupid. Yeah, and Cupid. That's right. Yes. Well, a man who brings smiles to drivers' faces is finding out that when you put a little happiness into the world, it comes back to you. Traffic doesn't usually spark joy, but at the corner of a busy street in Arlington, Texas, there's someone who is determined to make people stop. So Jalen Ford is a combination of constant motion and perpetual joy dancing to music only he can hear. <laughs> Turns out Ford is a big Taylor Swift fan, and because he brings happiness to drivers, a few commuters wanted to give back in a big way. Enough money was donated so that Ford can see Swift when she's in town next month. How cool is that? I love this story. Also, I am a bit concerned. I'm just making sure that he's being safe because it looks Be like he's like literally in the middle of traffic. Uh, but that's awesome. I actually love to see things like this when people are dancing and having a good time kind of on the sidewalk just because if I'm having a bad day or if I'm irritated because I'm stuck in traffic, this right. is something good that kind of like lifts your spirits. So I hope he has fun at the Taylor Swift concert. Yeah, I do too. Well, Richard Belzer, known as Munch on Law and Order SVU, he has died at the age of 78. He died over the weekend in his home in southern France for more than two decades and across 10 series, including appearances on 30 Rock and Arrested Development. Belzer played the wisecracking homicide detective prone to conspiracy theories. Belzer first played Munch on a 1993 episode of Homicide and then last played him in 2016 on Law and Order SVU again. He was 78 years old. I used to love to watch yes. him and Ice T because they were partners on SVU. Yes. Uh, so they used to always kind of go back and forth with each other. And so it was really, really great on screen chemistry. I totally agree. You know, and he, he was a wisecracking detective and he got his start as a uh, stand up comedian. So that totally makes sense. So he will be missed. Well, do you think your pet has what it takes to be a bunny mascot? Cadbury is calling all rescue pets to complete. Uh, compete in their spokes bunny tryouts, but it doesn't matter what type of animal your pet is as long as they are a rescue. You just, all you need to do is just add some bunny ears to your animal friend and then submit a photo of them to be a candidate. The chocolate company will reward the winner with Easter commercial appearance and $5,000 along with $5,000 more to donate to their selected shelter. Submissions do end February 23rd, so that's this week, and the public can vote on their favorite wannabe bunny. I That's love it. Cute. Adorable. Okay, so if you're planning on doing this and you're here local to us, send us your pictures. We would love to see your uh, rescue animal dressed up as the Easter Bunny and potential right. Cadbury mascot. Yes, get those submissions in by the 23rd, and then there's a public vote. Nice.